All right. So everything's in D tier because every, every, everything sucks and I hate it all. Um, S tier, immediately. Uh, Bulbasaur, he's cute and green. We love Bulbasaur. Everyone loves Bulbasaur. Look at him. Look at him. He's got a bulb on his back. I love it. I love Bulbasaur. Charmander, S tier. Squirtle, S tier. Starters. Actually, you know what? Rearrange that. A tier Bulbasaur because you can't just get by on being cute. But you know what? He's got two types. You know what? This is a personal list. I don't care. Uh, Cyndaquil. Top of S tier is the best Pokemon in the game. Don't hate, don't, don't hate, don't hate, appreciate. Chikorita, C tier. Because once you get to know her, she's pretty great. Uh, Totodile, S tier. Better than these guys, to be honest. Like, let's be real. He is better than these guys. How the heck is Bulbasaur a frog? Bulbasaur is a, a frog dinosaur. And, uh, yeah. I was gonna say, Chikorita, is she anyone's favorite? Chikorita is. Chikorita's mid. Hold on, let me let me let me let me change the title real quick. Pokemon tier list. And let me let, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll I will I will I will freaking go in depth on my reasonings now because I actually care about this tier list now. Jeez. Okay, I'm home. Well, guess what? We're doing something different. We're, we're doing something completely different now. I'm doing a tier list of Pokemon. <laughs> Welcome home. Oh, yeah, you're late! Junior said you're going to be home in, in three minutes. Um... At 717. Anyways, okay. So, Cyndaquil is my favorite Pokemon of all time. So, he's S rank. Top S rank. Duh. Totodile. Like, there's not really much for me to go into him. He's a, also, he's a fire mouse. And, and I was born. You're the rat. Bye, Mark. is going to bed. Been a good stream. Oh, thanks, Justin. Bye. Have a good night, man. Alright. So, yeah. So, Cyndaquil. Favorite Pokemon. Love him. Top. Totodile. Totodile's a really good starter. Total is a really good starter. He's got a good Evo. I love him too. And he's cute. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Charmander. Honestly, personally, A tier. Top of A tier because Charmander's cool. But at the same time, like super overrated. And he's not my favorite. Um, Bulbasaur. Also, he's not like... What is what is he, man? He's just a fire lizard, bro. I mean, like, it's not it's not anything crazy. It's just like, okay, fire lizard. I get it. Isn't Charmander the weakest of the starters? Yeah. Gen 1? Yeah. He's got the least viability, honestly. But, like, you don't get many fire types, so you actually do want to pick Charmander uh, if you're doing a Nuzlocke. Um, I like... Total is my favorite Gen 1 starter. Like him. Love him. He's great. I mean, wait, Squirtle. That's what I meant to say. Squirtle. You forgot Pikachu. Oh, you're right. Pikachu's not on this list. All right, starters that you can choose from. Oh, I know I didn't join to hear Charmander slander. I'm not slandering Charmander. He's top of A rank. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't think Charmander's S. Charmander's A. Charmander's like top A, in my opinion. This is my opinion. Don't don't hate me. Let me be. Is he a starter? Pikachu is a four starter in Pokemon uh, Pika Pika Yellow Pika Pika Edition. Also, hey, Yee Hee, how you doing? Austin gets back and my internet goes out. Oh, jeez. Just a warning. Uh, but yeah. Also, Bor Bulbas honestly, uh, okay, fine. He's low S, but he's behind Squirtle. Because Squirtle's better than Charmander, okay? Fine, he's low S with um, with Bulbasaur being top A, okay? I feel like that's better. Chikorita is C. Chikorita is C and no one's debating it. Chikorita is C rank and no one's debating it, okay? Anyone debating Chikorita's placement? No. Chikorita is C rank. This, this has nothing to do with viability. This has nothing to do with um, 
competitive viability, nuzlocke ability. This is all my personal opinion. Personal opinion. And Chikorita just be mid AF. Um, Trico, Trico, pretty cool. Honestly, I remember as a kid, I used to like Trico a lot. And then I got older. So Trico is a B. Age, age makes you. Now Bulbasaur is all alone. Don't worry, there'll be other A, a, po a tier Pokemon. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to really like Trico. My uh, one of my best friends on my street. He would always pick Trico as a starter. I should, I should turn down the, the the Pokemon game music. I feel like it's kind of kind of loud. Drop that a little. Drop it for myself, honestly. Leave it high for you guys. Or a little high for you guys. Um. Same. Never got the hate for Trico. Saints. Come on, man. I keep doing a tier list. Trico's all right, but like, he's just cool. That's all he is. He's just cool, and then he doesn't really bring anything else to the table. Like, what? He doesn't have like a move that makes him camouflage, so he's not like a, a chameleon. He's just a gecko. He's just he's just a gecko, and then he evolves into a flying gecko, and you're just like, oh, okay. But he is cool. You can't you can't stop him from being cool. So I put Trico's definitely in B tier. And it gets Leaf Blade. And Leaf Blade was a cool Gen 3 move when it becomes Sceptile. And Sceptile is cooler than Trico, so that's 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 a thing. Uh, I should do more squats before I just just give up. What game is Trico from Gen 3? Today we learned that Marcus hates grass types. That's actually so far from true. So far from true. I haven't even gotten through the list. Today I learned Marcus has very long fingers. And they curl. I can't make them straight. Don't look at that. That's so weird. Look. My fingers are gross. Um... Also, Saints Flow, what you mean by that? What you mean you learned that I have long... What you mean... What was that? What you... What, what were you doing? Fill me in. Anyways, um... Yeah, Trico's B. Uh, Mudkip, S tier. S tier. A tier? S tier. Honestly, Mudkip's A tier. Swampert's S tier. Swampert's S tier. Where's Swampert? Where that boy at? Swampert S tier. Swampert S tier. But we ain't doing we ain't doing evolutions. We're just doing starters. Swampert's S tier. Mudkip definitely A tier. Mudkip's A tier because of the meme. And it's cute. And it's, it's it's blue. It's got gold things on its face. Although in reality, if I were to have a Mudkip as a pet, I would be grossed out. That thing looks slimy AF. That thing looks. And I, I, I'm not a fan of touching slimy. I don't like frogs. One time I was in I was in America. I was in Washington D.C. and I was visiting my family, and it was late at night and we were coming home from like a plaza or whatever. We went shopping, and um, they lived in like a like a like a suburb, like a nice like a nice like like a nice suburb, like like white people definitely lived there as well. It was nice. Um, <laughs> but there was also, like, a, a forest, like, around the area. So, like, frogs would come out at night and uh, when it was wet. So, th there were, like, the street was just filled with frogs, and we were walking. And the frogs just, they wouldn't move. They didn't care. They were just on the sidewalk. So, like, we had to, like, walk and, like, dodge stepping on frogs. And I'm not even gonna lie to you. I stepped on frogs, bro, because they scared me, bro. I didn't like them. And like I'm not, like like I oh I, I I can vividly remember stepping on one and feeling that slide like that that oh frogs bro not a fan not a fan of frogs IRL ladies love him. He'll never tell, though. 
By the way, Jay, I watched episode 5 of Black Lagoon. It was definitely my favorite episode far. I loved the combo that Revy and Rock had in the shipwreck. I need to buy Sword and Shield. Not really a fan of Arceus. Don't buy Sword and Shield. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. This game is... uh. The fact that you don't like Arceus, I would say wait until Pokemon Scarlet and Violet come out. Because um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are... Well, they should be good. And they're a new generation. I wouldn't buy this game. But why don't you like uh, Pokemon Ar Legends Arceus? It's a really good game. It's much. It's far better than Pokemon Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Shield is... It's literally a below-average Pokemon game. <laughs> looks good, though. That's the best part about it. It looks good. Um... I think it was there. That frog better be okay. Yeah, I went back and checked. The frog's fine. A six a six foot uh, black man stepped on uh, stepped on it, and it was fine. I, I took it to a, a vet. It was good. Don't worry. I I heard from that frog again. It's fine, Austin. Jesus. They're near where uh, Mount Dad lives. I like them. They got dumb eyes. Frogs? Okay, uh, I don't like the, the, the Zelda feel. Ah. You're not gonna like a lot of modern video games. You should get a, you should get a Game Boy Advance, my guy. Anyways. Oh, they're near where my dad lives. Oh, okay, frogs. That's what you're talking about. Shut up, phone. Gross. Um, anyways, next up from Gen 3, we got Torchic. Fire Chicken. Honestly, Torchic is a B tier. Arguments? Arguments? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Someone tell me why Fire Chicken isn't B tier. Hmm? Hmm? Because that's all it is. It's it's KFC. It's Fire Chicken. Honestly. Because like Torchic is Torchic is cute. But Combuskin is Combuskin is D tier at best. Combuskin's ugly AF. And then Blaziken is S tier. A, A to S. But Torchic is just... There. It's cute, so S tier. No. No. If you're an S tier, you gotta be cute and cool. 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 Almost there. Almost there. Has one foot. And then gets two. It evolves and gets two. Is that... I feel like that's offensive. I feel like that's offensive to, 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 to people that are born or, or have one leg. So therefore... Torchic has no fire. Exactly! Fire chicken with no fire on it. Next... Uh, we're in Gen 4 now. Gen 4, Turtwig. I do love Turtwig, but... Okay, I love Turtwig, but I love Torterra. I like Turtwig, but I love Torterra. Turtwig A tier. Yeah, my list going to look a little different. I like... I like nah, Turtwig... Did you say Turtwig's a D? Did you say Turtwig's a D tier? Clearly don't know me. Clearly don't know me. Bro, a little turtle twigger. What are you talking? Turtle twigger. Turtle twigger. Bro, literally what you just said. Literally what you just said. Turtle twigger. Why wouldn't it be an A tier? Hmm. First off. It's got leaves on its head. Clearly, you know it's a grass type. All right. 
It's got a shell, so it's a turtle. Twigga Wugga. There you go. Secondly, he's got a shell, all right? So you know that he's going to be tanky. He's a tanky, tanky grass type. You know what you're getting yourself into, all right? I don't like Pokemon that mislead you. These two are misleading. He's also misleading, but he's kind of cute. But these two are misleading. Okay, you know what? Not so much him. But this one, definitely misleading. How am I supposed to know that this is going to end up becoming a fighting type? Tell me. How would I know that the one-legged chicken is going to become a firefighting type? I wouldn't. I know what this is going to be. It's going to be a grass type. And he's going to be cute. But, but, he's a tiny tank. Exactly. But, he isn't super cool. So that's why he's lying S, S tier. Top A tier, though. I like, I like Turtwig. Uh, Chimchar. A.K.A. Piplup. A.K.A. Piplup, if you watch the Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke. Um. I don't, I don't even like Chimchar that much. Fire Monkey? Like, Chimchar is S tier. Yeehee, just because you say it isn't going to make me put Chimchar in S tier. Chimchar is cute and cool, though. I just don't like Chimchar that much. You know what? Chimchar does have Charmander vibes. Now that I'm looking at them side by side, Chimchar and Charmander have the same vibes, bro. Chimchar's evos are way cooler. You're right. But my, my, my issues with Chimchar is Chimchar is just Fire Monkey. Chimchar is Fire Monkey, evolves into Clown Fire Monkey, then evolves into Sun Wukong Fire Monkey. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Wow, awesome. But again, I guess Squirtle evolves from, from turtle into turtle into turtle, so. Maybe I'm being picky. Maybe I'm being rude. The one with the skirt? Bro, you're right. Infernape does have a skirt. Wait. No, he doesn't. He's got like a weird shirt. Did I have a female Infernape when I played? I might have had a female Infernape. I'm so sorry, Bulbasaur. You deserve better right now. Bulbasaur is with good people. Bulbasaur's got good company. What are you talking about? Bulbasaur A tier? Bulbasaur is in great company right now. Piplup. Yeah. But by this logic, that means that I feel like Chimchar is my favorite of the Gen 4 starters. And if that's true, which it isn't, I'd have to do this. Or I could just do this. If I do that, then I think Bulbasaur is better than Chimchar, or worse than Chimchar and Turtwig. Yeah, okay, you know what? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, Piplup's boring, but the thing is, all the other generations have worse Pokemon. Like, there are worse starter po- Like, like, look at this. Like, look at this. Like, look at- Gen 5? Bro, what am I even- Like, um, let me just say, they're not moving. They're in D tier. They're in- They- They are hard stuck here. These are ugly Pokemon, bro. They're not moving. Honestly, the- The order changes up a little bit. Uh, I like Oshawott more than Snivy, and I like Tepic more than Snivy. I like everything more than Snivy, to be honest. I hate Snivy.
Uh, yeah, Gen 4 is a solid... Exactly. From Gen 1 to 4, I, I, I'm fine with the Pokemon. Even though, like, like even though I put Chikorita in C, Chik Chikorita is way more redeemable than these Pokemon. Trico and Torchic, way more redeem redeemable than these three Pokemon right here. All of these guys are way more redeemable than these three Pokemon right here. Snivy, Tepic, Snivy, Tepic, Oshawott are just... Like, Gen 5, the Gen 5 starters are just so, uh, for me. Like, I, I, I can't with them. I cannot with them. Um, Chessman can also go in D tier, but he's a little better than these guys. Fennekin, Fennekin C. I, I, I'll, I'll, hold on. And, um, and, and Froki, Froki's, uh. Alright, even though I don't like Frog's IRL, I like Froki. Alright, so, as I said... Gen 5, they, they ain't moving. Gen 5 is D. Snivy's in D is an L. I just start watching the stream and deal with this opinion. Your opinion is wrong and mine is right. What do you mean? Everyone is allowed to have an opinion. And mine is Snivy sucks. He's my he's one of my least favorite Pokemon as a starter. I'm sorry. It could be. It's, look, if my opinion is wrong to you, that's fine. Your opinion is wrong to me, and we can keep on pushing. That's look. We can keep it moving. All right. It's good. It's good. Um. Yeah. Gen four. Is, Gen four is a solid group. Gen five is just. Gen five looks like bad fan art. Yeah, I agree, Austin. I agree. <laughs> But as I said, everyone is... No, I'm objectively correct. All of the opinions are obviously wrong to my holy word. <laughs> okay. Fine. Agree to disagree, but... Ag disagree to agree, but to agree. Um, but yeah, so Gen 6. Froki is the only good, really really good Pokemon of these starters that looks really cool. Chessman's like... <sighs> Chessman... The thing about Chespin is, like, I, I, I picked him. Chespin was my starter. Chespin was the starter that I picked in Gen 6. And I I like Chestnut. But Chespin just looks goofy. And Quilladin also looks goofy. But at the same time, I love them dearly. So these are my... Fa that's my favorite D-tier Pokemon. I love... Ch I, there's a spot that Chespin has in my heart, but he's still D-tier. You know, like... Like, you ever... You ever, you ever have, like, you ever with a friend group, right? And you have one friend that you're, like, really, really, really good friends with. And then you have another friend that you're, like, that's, like, their friend, but, like, you don't really, like. But then they have their friend that they bring, and you just hate them, right? You hate them, and, like, you'd save them last in a fire, and you'd save your friend's friend before them, you know, that's Chessman for me. That was a really bad analogy. I'm... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, Chessman kind of... Chessman kind of mid. So he's in D. Fennekin is cute. Fennekin is... A, a, Fennekin is a cute little fox. Fennekin is a cutie pie. Uh, what about Rowlet? I'm, I'll get to Rowlet. Ratio L, young boy better. No, I'm objectively okay. Charmander is S tier, is a W though. Charmander is S tier. It's cute and cool. I love Snivy, Snivy solely because I love snakes. That's that's fair enough. That's a good reason. And she was the best in Poke Park too. Okay. It's just Snivy's so smug. Snivy's just so smug. Um, all humanoid Pokemon are L's. Honestly, yeah. But Chespin holds a spot in my heart, so I can't say he's a big L. And Lucario is kind of cool. Young boy would never leave his Pokemon. <laughs> like the friend that you only uh, that you're only friends with because your friend is their friend. But when it's just you two, it's awkward because you're never. Yes, that's a bet. There you go. That's a much better uh, analogy. Why isn't Fox higher? Why why behind Chikorita? Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's probably a better... That's a better choice. Uh, Rowlet? Ah, oh, man. Oh, oh, and Froakie. I forgot about Froakie. 
So the fox is um the fox the fox is Firefox. Firefox Mozilla. Firefox cool. I just don't like Fennekin's evolutions. Like I don't like Delphox and I don't like uh Bre Brakeshin. Like they like as as Austin said, humanoid evolutions are just like that. It's really bad. You're right, Fennekin is cooler than Fire Chicken, but Fire, oh, but Fire Chicken's evolutions do suck too, except for Blaziken. I don't know many people that are all like, yeah, I love my Combuskin. Poplio is adorable and Primarina is beautiful. The middle between that though is kind of bad. Oh, you're not gonna like you're not gonna like how I rate Poplio, Sylveon. You are not gonna like how I, I, I rate Poplio. You know, but honestly, looking at Poplio again, it's not that bad. It's it's Bri Bri Marine Bri Bri Brion Brione. That's that, that's horrible. Yeah, Pop, Pop, I'm, I'm honestly gonna put Poplio there. Poplio is still D tier. Uh, Rowlet. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta talk about Froakie. Froakie's, Froakie's A tier because it's a cool water frog and it's a ninja. Literally, on the fact that it's a ninja alone, A tier. What are you talking about? The fact that it's a ninja alone? A tier. Don't at me. Fire Chicken has one promising evil. Firefox has none. Exactly. Exactly, Junior. I would, I would punt a humanoid Pokemon. Those are the only ones that I would. I love Delphox. So you're right. Okay, next. She's a Fire Wizard Fox. That's bad. Yeah, like Delphox is like the theme of Delphox is cool. I just, I'm just not. I, I don't know what. I don't know. I can never wrap my head around it. Just don't like it. Um, okay, yeah, so Froakie is, is, is a ninja. Enough said. Um, we got Rowlet. Rowlet of, um, Alola. Also becomes, like, a ninja. Sniping with, with arrows when it evolves. So. Valid. I don't really have many Pokemon at his like, well. Yeah, you know, like, the, it's It's weird. As, as much as I say that I don't like these Pokemon, they're better than the Pokemon that I hate. No. Rowlet is misleading. You're absolutely right. Rowlet is kind of misleading. Rowlet's staying right where Rowlet's staying. What type is it even? That ain't no starter. wrong man's looks like a little owl hey, lady soja gets it yep lady soja see this is why this is why me and lady soja are cool because lady soja gets me she didn't say she liked it yeah but she said all she needed to say Austin gets it now, too. That's right. Austin gets it now, too. That's right. Austin gets it now, too. That is right. Look, man, Junior, I understand where you're coming from. I get it. I get it. But at the same time, it's a little owl. I'm just... It, it's a little owl. It's a little grass owl that little, flaps its little wings... And it's cute as heck. It's, a little, it's your little owl. Bro, imagine. Imagine I was a Pokemon trainer right now and I had a Rowlet as my as my as my partner. Chilling on my shoulder. Just chilling. He A tier though. He A tier though. Rowlet pretty sick. Litten. Cats are cute and all, but like Litten, Litten's shifty. L Litten looks so shifty. 
Litten's the cat that you don't mess with. I don't like Litten. Uh, me and Litten, yo, Litten is honestly, it just, Litten looks like a cat that, that's, that is an outside cat, bro. Litten is definitely an outside cat. So you're telling me no S tier grass types? I'll real I'll look over the list. Jeez. And can't you tell I'm doing a fire water duo type lock? Like what do you what do you what do you what do you mean? What do you mean? Like How is Litten higher than Firefox? Because That's a good point. I think it might be the colors. Because I, I, I like Litten because it's like really it's it's a dark, it's like a black hat or whatever. The the whiskers, yeah, no, it, it does look goofy with the painted whiskers. But I don't know, I, I kinda just like the, the whole black cat vibes of Litten. It's like this cat is a bad omen. It's, it's unlucky, but also like Bro, you make fun of those colors, black and red. But yeah, we're keeping it. Yeah, I don't know. Because like, what am I? What what what, what am I really gonna do? What am I really gonna do? Am I, am I gonna do this? No, I'm not. I could, but I refuse. <laughs> I get it, cute and cool, it works. Are we doing the mid and final evos? Maybe, depending on how I feel once I get there. Um, Grookey, Grookey, Grookey. Man, yo, Grookey got robbed. Grookey got robbed. Grookey got robbed, bro. Because Grookey is a cute Pokemon. Grookey is so cute. Grookey is so cute. Like, that's the thing. Grookey is one of my... Like, uh He's he's such a great new Pokemon. Such a new, great new grass type. Like, he looks... He, he's, he's got his little... He's got a little hammer. I'm a monkey. I'm a grass monkey. Oh, whatever. No, Bulbasaur got robbed. Shut up, Austin. Shut up. Bulbasaur did not get robbed. Bulbasaur top of A rank? A, basically A+. Plus? No, he didn't. Bulbasaur got exactly what Bulbasaur deserves. Um, but Grookey, man, Grookey got like Grookey got robbed by Game Freak. Why is it that the next evolution of Grookey looks so bad, and then Rillaboom, it's just like uh, Grookey is my little guy. I love him. I hope he's happy. Exactly. You only want to see this Pokemon happy. Grookey's way better. Grookey's better than it. yeah. Honestly, Grookey's S tier. Grookey's S tier. Grookey's S tier. I don't care what anyone says. You can fight me on this. I'll die on this hill. Grookey's S tier. I will die on this hill. Grookey is S tier. It's just because of his evolutions that he sucks. He's a little cave monkey thingy. I love him. He's cute and cool. Um. Uh. Man. What's his name again? I'm opening my Pokedex right now. Because I've forgotten. Score Bunny. That's its stupid name. Score Bunny. Sea rabbit. <laughs> ah, ah. Uh, score bunny. Score bunny. I hope nobody looks at me differently for ranking score bunny so low. I I didn't like him when he was announced. I didn't like him when he came out. I liked Raboot. Where's Raboot? Oh, Raboot's not here. They don't have the, they don't have the evolutions for the this new gen stuff, the Sword and Shield stuff on this tier list. But I like Raboot. I just don't like him and Cinderace. I 
And then Sobble, too. You see, Sobble's cute, but Sobble evolves into stupid Pokemon as well. But Sobble's cute, though. Anyways, C Rabbit, L Bunny, Lol. Yes, Score Bunny is just inferior to its evolutions, and that's why I can't go higher than B. <laughs> Dumb Bunny. W ranking, absolutely. L Score Bunny, let's go. Score Bunny is one of the worst fire starters, period. Yeah. I, I'd have to agree with you. Inteleon is a sniper. That's awesome. I do like that Inteleon is like a spy, like super spy sniper. I do think that's cool. But at the same time. He is a bipedal humanoid like Pokemon. And that wasn't necessary. Score Bunny Lame. I love Pokemon too much. I can't rank them properly. It is this is this was tough for me to do. I'm sitting here looking at this list, I'm like, mm, do I want to move stuff around? I don't get the hate for bipedal Pokemon. I don't I don't know where it comes from. It might be from like the uncanny valley. They're not monsters, but they are, though. Pokemons aren't humans. They're guys in cosplay. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying by they're not monsters. Never mind, then. No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Uh, all right, so Cynical S. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. yep. Justice for the boy. That actually makes so much sense. Okay. It's actually starting to make more sense as I change it. Hold on. Hold on. It's making, like, my turtles are, like, my, my weird frog turtles are near each other. And my monkeys. Okay. Okay. But I like Mudkit more than Chimchar. Do I, though? Do I, though? I do. I do. I like Chimchar more than Piplup. I like Froakie more than Piplup. I like Chimchar more than Froakie. I like Mudkit more than... I like, yeah. Okay, Rowlet. I do like Rowlet more than Piplup, though. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Piplup is cute. I do like Piplup. Sobble's cute. Trico. Honestly. Solid. Yeah. Snivy. Yeah. Snivy should go into Snivy tier. All right. I'm trying I'm going to try to get Violet. I'm gonna save up for it. It comes out at the end of the year, so you have a lot of time. Uh Saints Flow says bye. Bye, Saints Flow. <laughs> Elven Ring is six hours. Jeez. Have fun once you get it. Make sure make sure you uh, you don't lose a lot of sleep like I did playing that game. It's long. I just want my pretty fox lady. What the media doesn't want you to know. <laughs> Um, fix Bulbasaur, lol. Braxian, just cute AF. I'm sorry. Still, humanoid Pokemon are freaky AF, bro. You gotta raise Bulbasaur if you're gonna if you're gonna rate them favorably. <laughs> Bye, dude. Thank you. Bulbasaur in his rightful place, lol. I feel like I'm the only one who likes bipedal Pokemon. Oh, maybe the only one here, but 
definitely not the only person. There's tons of people that like buy people, buy people Pokemon. Uh, the homie Jordan Fringe likes Cinderace. I know that for a fact. At least somewhat. Too uncanny for me. Are you Pokemon or people? <laughs> Should I do the rest of them? You guys want me to do the rest of the, the evolutions? Yes, do the rest. Okay. Ivysaur is dumb. Any objections to this? Because Ivysaur is dumb. I've always I've always thought Ivysaur was just like the older brother to Bulbasaur, but less cool. Do you get that? Does anybody get that? Yeah, why were they in Smash? Exactly. Why why did they let Ivysaur in Smash? Ivysaur is trying so hard. Exactly. I, thank you. Like I I I thought I was crazy. I used to think I was crazy thinking this. I was like, "Yo, it's an evolution, but like why is Ivysaur so mid? Like less than mid. Like Ivysaur is way less than mid. Ivysaur is like Better than better than Super Score Bunny. Better than this cat. But not better than the rest of these guys. Mid. Ivysaur is trying so hard to be cool. Facts. War Turtle is better. War Turtle is better. War Turtle is infinitely better than Ivysaur, but War Turtle is also kind of mid. Sorry, I hit my microphone. But War Turtle is also kind of mid. Bro, all bro, all of the, the, the mid-evo Pokemon look like they're going through their teen years. And I, I know that's what they were going for. But, like, Jesus Christ. Y'all look goofy AF. I'm sorry, Junior. Charmeleon is a part of that crew. He goofy AF. Luckily, he's the least goofy of the three. But he goofy AF. Um, War Turtle's better. It's it's gonna it's it's going through its awkward phase. Yeah, bro. I think this might be one of my favorite streams. <laughs> MS think they quirky for liking it. That's why Marcus. That's why you're not quirky for liking Ivysaur. Shut up. It's got zits and everything. <laughs> yeah, Ivysaur. It literally has zits. It literally is going through its growing phases. Oh my gosh. Um. Teen years. I don't disagree with your word tone take low. Charmeleon is my favorite Pokemon, but yeah, I agree. He he goofy AF. <laughs> Rayxian and Quilava are cool though. Charmeleon, it's okay. You're a king. Nobody understands me. Charmeleon probably. Um So here's Charmeleon. Look at him with these arms, bro. This 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 stance. This <laughs> it's got his pockets ready. He's, he's ready to draw. Draw! <laughs> Charmeleon cracks me up, bro. Charmeleon will forever crack me up. Uh, he's better than Turchik and Trico, and he's better than Sobble, that's for sure. Uh, better than Sobble. Not better than Penguin, Owl, or, or Ninja, or Fire Monkey. Yeah, definitely there. Charmeleon, not bad. But as I, But literally, you guys, you guys said it best. These three, like the, the medievals for the starters of Gen 1, are the angsty teen phase Pokemon. And they're kind of weird. All three of them have like this weird vibe to them. Uh, War Turtle, better than, 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 yeah. But also got a weird vibe to him. I don't know. Actually, yeah, no, nah, War Turtle got a weird vibe to him. He got wings on his head, though. Kind of cool. Um, still a W. He looks like a Pokemon. The others, not so much. Yeah, top B is a Charmeleon agreed. I don't think there's any Pokemon that doesn't look like a Pokemon. Maybe you're all just Gen 1 or JK. No, I'm actually a Gen 2-er. As you can see, Cynical is at the top of my list, and a lot of people would clearly disagree with me on that. War Turtle is art. Look at his tail. Yeah. Like, I like the, the wings on his head and, like, the, the cool tail. War Turtle is pretty cool. 
But at the same time... Yeah. I definitely put him there. Uh, Bayleaf. Way cooler than Chikorita. Way cooler than Chikorita. Bayleaf is actually a really cool Pokemon. Bayleaf is a really cool Pokemon. Um... Would I put Bayleaf in A tier? No, Bayleaf is definitely B tier. Better than Ivysaur. Better than, yeah, you know what, A tier, right here. Yeah, Bayleaf is actually really cool. Bayleaf is really cool because it's a, Bayleaf is like a big old dinosaur. Like, uh, what's, what are they called? What are they called? Brontosauruses, right? With a leaf on its head, right? And it's cool because Brontosauruses were herbivores and they would eat leaves. So they fused that whole idea together by making it a a leaf pokemon and i think that's dope um but yeah bailey bailey's cool um Kolava. Kolava with its flames on Kolava with its flames on is actually i'd say a low a tier with its flames on with its flames off, D tier. With its flames off in, and in 3D, F tier. I don't know why they did that to my boy, but whatever. But yeah, low A. Low A, but better than Piplup. Kalava cute AF. Kalava's, Kalava's cool, but he's got to have his flames. If he doesn't have his flames on, I hate him. Krakena is, is, is a cool caveman alligator honestly croconaw is kind of s tier i've always loved the totodile's second evolution totodile's second evolution is so cool caveman crocodile i love it he's got like a toga on i know it's his skin but it's a toga like that's what it's meant to be and he's he's just a caveman crocodile i don't know all of his evils are cool. Honestly, I'm probably going to end up with Totodile all in S rank. It's weird that he's not my favorite Pokemon, but he's he's pretty cool. I'm ready for the superior F tier and it's going to make me sad. Don't worry, it's, o it's only D. But you're absolutely right. You absolutely know where superior is going. Um, Grovile. I hate Grovile. Like, I absolutely hate Grovile so much. Like, Grovile sucks. I, I, what's, hello? I put a 10 pound D. 10 pound? to move them that far apart from each other, Michaela. Oh, wait, I lied. <laughs> wow, I said that, and I'm a bold-faced liar. Damn. Because they're more than 10 pounds because they're just pure iron, dude. They're just, they're just metal, dude. Mystery sweater person cameo. That's my sister. It's no mystery. Um, what was I talking about? Bro is only liked for Mystery Dungeon. What, what was I talking about? Grovile? Yeah, Grovile sucks. I hate Grovile. Um, Grovile's whack. Grovile C tier. Grovile worse than, Grovile's actually worse than this guy. Yeah. Grovile sucks. Um, Combuskin. Combuskin's horrible. 
Combuskin is horrible. I hate Combuskin. Oh my god. Uh, the Gen Gen 3 Evos, even worse than Gen 1 Evos. Goodness gracious, what were they thinking? Did I skip a Gen 2 Evo? No, I didn't. I didn't. Everybody's up there. I like all Gen 2. Yeah. But Gen 3, man, they dropped the ball. Combuskin is so strange. I hate Combuskin. Its typing is good. Don't get me wrong. Combuskin's typing is good. Firefighting, fine. Cool. Awesome. But Combuskin just is it's just it's such an ugly chicken, bro. Can I zoom? Let me let me. Look at this thing. Kung 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 Fu Chicken, bro. Stupid. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Stupid. Um. I zoomed in too far. I zoomed out too far. Marshtop. I also I also hate Marshtop, but less than Grovile and Combuskin. I, I like Marshtop. Just looks like he's happy to be here. Marshtop just looks like he's here for a good time. Marshtop is here for a good time, not a long time. He knows that it's an evolution that you're just gonna bounce onto just to get to the superior swamper. Marshtop is just like, hey man, I'm here to chill, baby. Let's go. I know you don't like me that much, but let's do it. Hey, let's party. Hey, but guess what? I'm a water ground type. I'm a pretty cool type in huh? <laughs> like, Marshtop, Marshtop is, Mar yeah, you would, Marshtop would buy you a drink. A hundred percent. Marshtop is a type of Pokemon that'd be all like, hey, let's, hey, let's go get, let's go to the bar. Let's go have some fun. Marshtop, honestly, Marshtop going up the beats here. Marshtop kind of, Marshtop kind of based. Marshtop, Marshtop is actually kind of cool. Now that I think about it, Marshtop kind of cool. Marshtop definitely would, definitely would be go, to go to the bar with you and be all like, hey, let's have a couple brewskis, brother. Even in like, you having a really bad day, Marshtop's the kind of Pokemon to roll up over to you and be all like, Hey man, what's wrong? How are you? Doesn't even know you. Doesn't even know you. Just wants, just wants to like make sure you're having a fun time, a good time. But he also knows that he's not the greatest. Like he's he's super humble. March is a good Pokemon. I love March Um, those are Gen three evils. Okay, Gen four evils. Grottle, Grottle's stupid. Although I okay. So back to what I was saying about Turtwig, right? Turtwig is cool because he's a grass type, and you're like, he's a grass turtle. I know what I'm getting into. Also, he's cute. And then he evolves into this grotesque, ugly thing. This, this thing. This, this seed with bushes on its back. Still a turtle. You're like, I get it, but at the same time, gross. Unfortunately, he... <laughs> Grotal, not even cute. Bro, its name is Grotal. Grotal. Just make him like a potted plant until you get to the Torterra Terranium. A Terrarium. Exactly. Torterra is, Torterra is great. I love Torterra. Torterra is one of my favorite final Evos for um, a starter Pokemon. But Grotal, man. Grotal is just... Well, Grotal. Gross turtle? I guess that's what they were going for. Well, no. Grass turtle, obviously. But Grot... Yeah, he is a gross turtle. I hate him. Stupid second evil for a great Pokemon line. Monferno. Oh my god. Clown Fire Monkey. Better than Litten, but... Better than Ivysaur as well. Better than Fire Chicken. Better than Trico. Not better than Marshtomp, because Marshtomp is just here to party. He's a good guy. But I, I don't... Like, Monferno is just... Why isn't he a potted plant? Bro, he's like, he's like, a, he's supposed to be like a ficus. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be like a ficus, like a fake plant. But like, that doesn't even, like, it doesn't even make sense to evolve into a real big old, like, earth-bearing turtle. But whatever. I, I digress. I don't like Grottle. Don't like him. Monferno is here because Clownfire Monkey is, no. Clownfire Monkey is the worst of the Fire Monkey trio. I said it. I said it. Clownfire Monkey that also fights. 
gets mock punch as he evolves. I need to drink some water. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> uh, anyways, Prinplup is stupid as well. I, I hate Prinplup. Prinplup is a dumb Pokemon. Um, like I get, I get it. Empire, em, Emperor Penguin, like an Emperor Penguin, sure. But at the same time, like, uh, better than these guys. Honestly, Combuskin's better than these guys too. I, I, I should, fi I should fix that. You know what? Earlier I said Poppy was my least favorite starter, but he's not my least favorite starter. It's definitely Snipey. It's definitely smug ass Snipey. I hate Snipey. But yeah, Primple was there. Um, and then that's all of Gen 4, right? Oh, Gen 5, Servine. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Servine? I like Servine more than Snivy. Like, significantly more than Snivy. Servine's actually a kind of cool looking Pokemon. Better than Combuskin, but not better than Prinplup, because Prinplup has something going for it. So does Poplio, and, and Chespin just has a place in my heart. Servine's cooler than Combuskin, though. Big ol' fat wrestling pig is bottom C tier, because he's kind of cool. Because he's a wrestler. And he's just, Her, I'm here to beat you up. Look at, look at my biceps. I'm in a wrestling uniform, and I breathe fire. Huh, huh, huh. It's like the it's like firefighting done right. Um Primplip doesn't even look like a prince. He needs to look more smug, damn it. You're right. You're absolutely right. Primplip should look more smug. I love all Pokey monkeys, so while I get it, I have to disagree. Well most of them. These takes are murdering me. The Snivy line is my favorite starter line. I'm sorry, Sylveon. I apologize. But my opinion. My opinione. That I'm putting out on the internet to be to be judged by the rest of you. Duat. Duat is better than Oshuat. And that's it. Because it's a water type that should be a water fighting type, but isn't a water fighting type. Does it make sense to me? Does it make sense to me? Never does, never will. Honestly, Tepeg is kind of cooler than Duot. Because Tepeg's got cuteness going for it. Honestly, Oshawott's cooler than Duot. Honestly, Duot's just not cool. Hot take, Samurott is the best of the Oshawott line. That's not even a hot take, that's just facts. I absolutely agree with you. Sylveon. Samurott is the best of the Oshawott line. That's a big fact. If you were to ever miraculously go viral, what do you think it would be for, Marcus? Dunno. Viral. Hmm. I don't know. I, I've, I've never thought about that. I've never thought about that. Probably something dumb that I probably would regret later on in life, I assume. Just like the best of them. Isn't that right, Logan? Anyways, Quilladin. Uh, Quilladin sucks. But he's also just happy to be here. But he sucks as well. Brexian, 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 Brexian goes right here. I still like Fennekin more than Brexian. I'm sorry. Or Braxian. I can't even say Braxian's name right. And who's after that? It's uh, MF and Frogadier. 
Nah. I had a cute little frog ninja, and then I get this stupid scarf-wearing loser? No. I've never liked Frogadier. I've always thought Frogadier was stupid. Braxian, my homie. Braxian, alright, but Braxian... Something about Braxian, man. I don't know. Oh, we got Dartrix. Oh my god, Dartrix is another stupid looking Pokemon that I hate. Torcat. Torcat is the better Litten. Torcat is the better Litten, but not better than Ivysaur. But better than Torchic, but not better than Ivysaur. That's a good spot. Um. Oh, Bri Brione. Oh my god, Brione. Brione, 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 Brione. What were you thinking? What kind of stupid... Bro, Brione is dumb. Brione? Oh, man. What a bad idea for a Pokemon. I just don't get... It's like a clown... It's like a seal and a clown. Why would they make a cute seal that make it terrifying? Like, it just looks stupid. And floppy and dumb. And stupid. Oh, let's get to the relevant ones. Alright, final Evos. The final Evos. Uh, we got our boy Charizard. Nah, Charizard D tier? Yeah, right. Charizard? What the? Oh, did I hit the back button? Oh, jeez. Oh, it's all gone. Well. Am I? What? What? Where'd my list go? Where'd my list go? Oh, thank God. Woo! Wipe. Wipe the brow. Wipe the brow. Okay. So what was I doing? Where's Charizard? Charizard. Charizard in, in D tier. The joke I was saying was Charizard in D tier. Yeah, right. No way. Charizard's never been D tier. Charizard is obviously S tier for all the fans, right? Like all the all the big Charizard fans. Everybody that's like, I love me a flying dragon. Boy, oh boy. Flying. Look at him. He's got a fire tail. And he's got wings and he's got baby arms. <laughs> That's what Charizard sounds like, by the way. Charizard! Because he's got baby arms. I'm not... It's not offensive because I'm making fun of a Pokemon. Shut up. Uh, he's a fire dragon. He's cool. Yeah. Charizard is just cool. Charizard's cooler than these Pokemon, though. It's not cooler than Totodile. It's not cooler than Squirtle either. But Charizard is cooler than Charmander. Blastoise is cooler than Charizard. And that's called an opinion. Music to my ears. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Blastoise. Blastoise is cooler than Squirtle, though. And then Venusaur is cooler than Crocodile, cooler than Bulbasaur, not cooler than Charm. Well, honestly, Charmander's not that cool. But Venusaur isn't as cool as Charizard. But Squirtle is cooler than both Venusaur and Charizard, but not cooler than Blastoise. It's funny to think that going off Pokedex entries, Charizard would beat Blastoise, despite the type difference. Yeah, Pokedex entries. Silly Pokedex entries. I'd never. I could never. Yeah. <laughs> Mark is making Charizard noises and music. Oh, that's the music to your ears. Oh. Charizard! 
Um, Meganium. I like Meganium. Meganium's cool because of the whole bay leaf dinosaur thing. But in this time, it's a plant. So Meganium's A tier. Meganium's actually A tier, honestly. Honestly, Meganium's pretty high A tier in my eyes. Honestly, Meganium's pretty dope. Um, with game logic, Blastoise, Blastoise soils, solos the trio. Facts. Also, Blastoise is awesome. Water cannons. Yeah, that's why he's the best of the three starters, final evolutions, in my opinion. A lot of people are Charizard fans. I get it. A lot of people are Venusaur fans. I get it. But Blastoise with Rex. Blastoise can learn Ice Beam. And I'm pretty sure Blastoise is faster than Venusaur. So it wins. And then with type advantage, Blastoise just beats Charizard. So whatever. Like competitive wise, like Blastoise, Blastoise the goat. Blastoise goaded. GTFO. That being said, Typhlosion with the fire on. Marcus, why don't you have anything else to say about putting Typhlosion so high in S rank? No, I don't. With the fire on? No, I don't. Um, for alligator. Oh, for alligator S tier two. Jesus. Bro, for alligator is such a cool Pokemon. For alligator is like top 100 for sure. I think he likes the Cyndaquil line just a little bit. I mean, just just a little bit. I, I might have a fascination with the Cyndaquil line. I don't know. I could, maybe. My room always falls apart when I try to do little bits. <laughs> Wish Arson was here right now, <laughs> right? What gives you that idea? <laughs> Um, who's next? What was I doing? Oh, yeah, Gen, gen 3. Septile. Seppy Septile. Septile's cool. Septile's A tier. Yeah, Septile's A tier. Septile higher than Piplup. Septile higher than Quilava. Septile higher than Rowlet. He's got blades on his arms for crying out loud. Septile cool AF. Honestly? Yes. Bro, I really like grass type Pokemon. I really do. They're so good. They're not in my S tiers, but they're really good. Blaziken, ooh, Blaziken. Blaziken's sick. Blaziken is a cool Pokemon. Sceptile is cool. His Mega is awesome, right? Blaziken is a cool AF Pokemon. Blaziken's a little overrated, but so is Charizard. And that doesn't that does not factor into my rating. I love, it's just annoying because Torchic and Combuskin are horrible. Please do a legendary tier list after fanfiction. Okay, fine. I'll do a legendary tier list after. What did I change the title? I, I did. Uh, Blaziken. Blaziken. Blaziken karate kicks the competition. Blaziken. Blaziken ain't better than Charizard, though. Yeah. Swampert. Oh, Swampert. Swampert, 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 Swampert. Swampert, 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 Swampert. Swampert. Uh, you're not better than Blastoise, but you are better than Charizard, in my opinion. Swampert, 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 Swampert. How, how I love you so. You're like my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon, hands down, period. Water, water ground that learns Earthquake at like level 36. You can basically... Swampert is still humble, yet he doesn't even need to be anymore. He's that cool. Exactly. Like, 
you have Marsh Stomp. He's a humble guy. He's always smiling. And then, like, he's always been going to the bar with you, always inviting you out, always there when you're down or whatever. And then he evolves, and he becomes Swampert, this big dude, this big, this big protector, right? He becomes this big protecty boy, big mud boy, right? And he's just like, yo, what up, dog? Hey, yo, remember when we used to hang out? Yeah, that was cool, dog. Yo, that was good times. That was good times. And, but, you know, he's never smug about it, you know? He just goes on about his life. Love Swampert. Swampert, that Swampert's that boy. Swampert's that boy that that you always have with. Like you hit up your your line, doop, 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 and you and you call up all your friends and they want to hang out, and like a bunch of them say no. Swampert will always say yes. Swampert is that guy that's just like yeah, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, we hanging. Yeah, Swampert's always there for you. Hands down, Swampert's always there for you. That's why if you ever do Gen three and you run with Mud Mudkip, start with Mudkip, you always have Swampert on your team for the rest of the game, the whole time, unless you're doing like a Nuzlocke and it dies. But how are you gonna let your boy die like that? You wouldn't. Anyways, Torterra's S tier as well. Um, Torterra is better Venusaur. Torterra beats up Blaziken. Torterra beats Charizard, in my opinion. Doesn't beat Swampert though. Swampert kind of. Swampert gas. Hot take. I always keep the box art legendary on my team in Pokemon games. I used to do that. I used to do that a lot when I was younger. It's 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 definitely it's definitely um I did that for Brilliant Diamond as well. I I, I just had Dialga on my team just because I didn't even use it. I just had it on my team. And then in Platinum I had Giratina when I was playing that when I was um when I was a kid. But yeah, no, I used to do that as well, as well, Sylveon. I mean they give it to you for free and it's generally like higher level than most of your Pokemon, so I would I wouldn't understand why you don't use it. But Torterra's up here because look at him. He's got a he's 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 the he's the Earth is on the back of a turtle myth. Native American myth or um story. Look at him. Also he's uh he's a bonsai plant. Also also he's a terrarium. Also if 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 life got really bad and and you really like you you couldn't eat anymore and you needed sustenance, boom! Torterra can make apples on the tree on his back, bro. A Pokemon with extra uses, bro. What do you mean? Torterra lit. I love Torterra. Base. Thank you. Torterra's Torterra is up here. Torterra is like one of my favorite one of my favorite grass type Pokemon. Um, Infernape, Fire Monkey, but cool. Better than, better than them. Honestly, better than, better than, yeah. These, these guys, these guys should, yeah, that's good. That's good. Honestly, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Makes sense. Firestars always have great final evils. Facts! As you can clearly see, they are all in my S tier. The Firestar evos are all in my S tier. What? What? Who? Do I have any D tier evo? Oh, yeah, I haven't even got there yet. Oh, Empoleon! Oh, Empoleon is great. Empoleon's actually really cool. I love Empoleon. Empoleon is the king of the. The true king of the penguins. The real king of the penguins has, has arrived. Empoleon is not better than Venusaur. Ah, well, actually, yeah. I really like Empoleon. Does water come out of all the water types' mouths? Same for fire? I think so. Yes. Cinderace makes fireballs and kicks them. Yes. That that's the one Pokemon that doesn't breathe fire. Cinderace, I mean, uh this stupid score bunny. Like he'll he'll he'll, he'll like he'll like make like a, a rock catch fire or whatever. I don't know how he does it. Like he like, I don't know, use ember on the rock and then he'll kick it around and make it into a fireball and then kick it at you. <laughs> 
And that's stupid. So as I said, that's my opinion. No one else has to agree. Uh, Superior. Superior is cooler than Snivy, Luwat, Dartrix, Oshawott, Frogadier, Tepig, Quilladin, Combuskin, Servine, Frinflup, Brion, Chespin, uh, uh, this guy, cooler than Grottle, cooler than uh, Grovile, cooler than Score Bunny for sure, cooler than Chikorita, cooler than Brakeshin, cooler than uh, Fennekin, cooler than Cat, cooler than Cat, cooler than Vi Icer, cooler than Fire Chicken, cooler than Trico, cooler than uh, Clown Monkey, stupid. Honestly, cooler than Marshdom, cooler than Sobble, not as cool as Bayleaf. Bayleaf needs to move higher than these two. So just because I like Bayleaf more. Yeah, that's where Superior goes. Superior isn't bottom tier? No. Are you surprised? Did I shock you with my opinion on Superior and how Superior is like, okay. It's a cool snake. There's nothing wrong with Superior. It's a, it's, it's a, it's an Empire snake. It's an Emperor snake. It's a, it's a King Cobra, essentially. I, I it makes sense for it to be that smug. I just hate Snivy's big ass eye, dude. Snivy's big ass eye is the, the worst thing in the world. I hate this. This Pokemon is stupid. This Pokemon is stupid. That's my opinion. It's an opinionated thing. Everyone hates Superior. This is a miracle. I don't hate Superior. Superior's cool. I just hate Snivy. There's a difference. Um, Embor, Embor is, um, better than Pig Knight, but I still hate him. Um, uh, Samurott is somewhere up here. Samurott's better than, yeah, Samurott's there. Samurott's pretty cool. Samurott's a solid B tier. Um, and then this generation, what is this, X and Y? Chestnut is mid. Chestnut is so mid. That we're gonna put him in the middle of, of B, the B tier. That's how mid he is. Actually, he's nah. He's honestly C tier. Just not at C tier. Ambor could give some god tier hugs. They'd be very warm, and he could break your back. Just like literally shatter your spine in like twelve places. But they would be some pretty epic hugs. You're not wrong. Um, Greninja is S tier. For obvious reasons, he's a ninja. Beats Croconaw, beats all these dummies. Beats Empoleon. Nah, he doesn't beat Empoleon. I like Empoleon more than Greninja. Fight me. Delphox. Delphox is right here. Uh, Dartrix is a cool stealth ninja ghost. Uh, dark ghost grass type and I like him They go together perfectly these two are boys best friends brothers. I'm back. My dad was at the door. Welcome back Austin um, Incineroar is a better looking Embor and Primarina is actually kind of cool Primarina can go up here next to there All right, that that's my list. That's it Boom. Oh my god. I'm tired. That, 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 that tired. Why am I tired? So, my favorite Pokemon is Cyndaquil. And then Typhlosion, Feraligator, Blastoise, Swampert, Totodile, Swirtle, Rotera. Oh, don't do that. Charizard, Infernape. Yeah. And then here's, 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 here's the Dookie Doos. These guys are the Dookie Doos in my eyes. Chespin being a special case. Delphox the friend who's always busy because they're very successful in life, so you don't see them for years until they just show, suddenly show up at your birthday or something. Delph, honestly, I how I see Delphox is that's a good take, honestly. But how I see Delphox is um, that friend that doesn't show up in your life for a very long time. Like, is okay, that friend that was there for a very long time as a Fennekin was just like always with you, cute AF, you know, you're just like you're like man. It's cool to have a cute friend, you know, 
we 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 there's no relationship going on here like it's, it's all completely platonic or whatever and then and then Del Fox or uh, Fennekin evolves into Brachian and and becomes starts hidden on you and so like what stop this I, I don't appreciate this very much like I don't it's a little weird a little sus and then Brachian decides to like to, to leave and you don't see them for years and years and years and years and years and then they hit you up later as a Del Fox and like you're like uh, they're like hey come over and then you go over and it turns out that they're into like witchy stuff and like they're they're part wicca or whatever and uh and and you're just like oh bro what what like so like what are you into it's like yeah you know i'm i i, I do witchcraft and um etc 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 and you're just like oh cool bet 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 Meanwhile, you're also slowly backing your way away to the door because you're like, I, I don't know if I'm really into this. And then you, it turns out that they have like a, a like a, a voodoo doll of you, and, and and they like they've loved you forever. And then they start stabbing the voodoo doll and trying to make you stay there or whatever. And it's actually working because like they've studied actual witchcraft. Yeah. I'm tired as well. Uh, six hours of school and four hours with my girlfriend and friends. Well, one was obviously more enjoyable than the other. Fair enough, yes. One would be more enjoyable than the other. All right, so Junior said he wanted me to do legendaries, right? That Fennekin definitely went through some stuff as a child and is expressing it through unhealthy outlets. 100%. That's why they become Delphox, spooky witch lady. I'm not typing. Hello? Bro, what? Getting way too specific. <laughs> Got a story to share? Nope. I don't. Where is Arceus? Am I blind? Did they just not include Pokemon God in this list? Am I blind? Oh, there. He's at the top. I'm so blind. Arceus is literally at the top. Let's go. Necrozma is my favorite legendary. Dang, then you have a really vivid imagination, Marcus. So you should, you should write, bro. Uh, I, I want to be a writer at one point in time in my life. Oh, S plus, S, A plus, A. This is an interesting list. Uh, where do I begin? I guess we begin, at, we begin at the beginning. But I don't like this list. It doesn't have all of the legendary Pokemon. There's better, best legendary Pokemon. This has even less, I feel. Ah, excellent. A complete list. So let's start with the beginning. The A's. Arceus. Good old God. Pokemon God. This man gave you a cell phone in the latest games. He's a normal type, and he his special move is Judgment, and like you give him plates, and then he can be whatever type you want. <coughs> Honestly, Arceus is the mid. I've never liked Arceus. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Arceus is just who 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 cares about the normal type list? Like I don't know. 
I, I don't know. Arceus sucks. Articuno. Articuno is an A tier Pokemon. Nah, he's B tier. Articuno is just a ice bird. Bro, gonna get smited for that take. You know what? Arceus wouldn't want to be put at the top or the bottom. Arceus would love to be humbled in the middle. Because everything is balanced around Arceus. So therefore, if you are better than if, if the Pokemon is higher than Arceus, like th this is Arceus tier. It's the it's the mid. It's the middle. This is my um. This is my, uh, this is my five. If this is my ten, this is my five, and this is my zero. And Arceus sits here as the mediator for everyone else. That screenshot looks bad, too, so even the looking good part is not backed up. Right? Anyways, Articuno's B tier. It's Ice Bird. Flying Ice Bird. Whatever. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? What the hell... What is this? This is nothing. There's not there's not a Pokemon here. It's invisible. Okay? Sure. <laughs> okay. Zapdos. Zapdos. That means number two. Electric bird. Bird of electricity. Zapdos is better than Articuno. Yes. Where's Mo Firebird? Firebird. Fire chicken, actually. Moltres is actually worse than both of these two. Moltres is C tier. Moltres is C tier. Oh, it's missing though? The invisible one is missing though? Nothing is my favorite. Easy S tier. Yeah, missing though? Best Pokemon. Uh, who else was in uh, Gen 1? Who was a Gen 1 legendary? Oh, yeah, Mewtwo. No, Mewtwo's A tier. Honestly, Mewtwo's S. Mewtwo, like, Mewtwo's around here. Like, I don't know where I'd put Mewtwo. But Mewtwo really is. Mewtwo's really cool. Um, I'll leave him in A tier for now. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it later. Mewtwo is my third favorite Pokemon. Mewtwo's sick. Mewtwo is sick. Um, I, I don't know where I want to put him yet. He might be S. He could be A. I'll fix it after. Where's Mew? Mew. Mew goes right next to God. If Mew is the angel then, and Mew is and Arceus is God, then yep. Mewtwo is my third favorite Pokemon. He's a badass who killed like fifty people. That's true. Mewtwo did. Mewtwo does have a body count. We're gonna put him in S tier. That's that's a good point. He is a mass murderer. That always gets more points in my books. Oh, that person was a mass murderer. Don't, don't, don't clip that. Um, Mewtwo, uh, what is this, X? Or is this Y? This is Mewtwo Y. Mewtwo Y is, what, A tier? And then Mewtwo X is also A tier. These guys are gangsters. I love the Mega Mewtwo's. I like, uh, they're both cool. They're honestly, they're both cool. Y is cooler than X, but they're, they're both cool Pokemon. Yeah, but I have no issues with the the the, 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 the Mega Mewtwo's. Regular Mewtwo's better than both of them, though. No, no debate, no debate there. Easy, easy ruling from me, from me to you. Are there multiple Mewtwo's? I thought he was the only one. There's Mewtwo, and then he has the Mega Evolutions for Pokemon X and Y. So there's Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y. So this is Mega Mewtwo Y right here. This is Mega Mewtwo X. Second story. Well, I mean, sort of. Those are alternate forms that Mewtwo can take. Yeah, what Sylveon said. Better explanation. Um, all right. So I think that's all of Gen One, right? Gen Two now. Gen Two legendaries are weird because, like, there's like not that many of them. Celebi is better than Mew, but also mid. I ne I've never liked these fairy Pokemon. Never. 
Yeah, there's different timelines in Pokemon nowadays, Junior. There's the Mega Evolution timeline, the regular timeline, and then there's the timeline... Um, the Let's Go timeline, right? So in the in the Mega Evolution timeline, there's a timeline where Pokemon can just Mega Evolve. So like Mewtwo has the ability, like if you get if you have the Mega Stone for Mewtwo, he can just Mega Evolve if he wants. But in the timeline that you're probably used to, the one that everyone else is used to, Pokemon just can't Mega Evolve. I thought he was the only one, not the evolutions. Uh, he is the well, I mean, he is the only Mewtwo, technically, but. I mean, in other games, you can just catch Mewtwo's, because, I mean, why not, right? Mega Evolution is basically Digivolving. Correct. Like, why the one uh, MOBA head, head so big? Bro, I, Celebi, these guys, these fairies, I, I don't know. I don't know, not a fan of, I've never been a fan of them, to be honest. Where is Entei? Entei. Entei is A tier. Entei is cool. Isn't there just one of him? Well, you can just catch Mewtwo's. Yeah. You can. In these in modern Pokemon games, yes, you can just catch Mewtwo's. You can just catch all Pokemon. In most Pokemon games. Because why wow, what the it, it'd be really upsetting just to have a Pokedex and be like, I can't complete this because this Pokemon will never exist in my Pokemon game because there was only one of them ever in, in existence. Celebi's cool, but yeah, yeah. Well, every card should just technically its own timeline. That's a good way to think of it, Sylveon. Nonetheless, I can pop in Pokemon X and Y, or Pokemon Sword and Shield, and go do a Raid Den and get Mewtwo, then go do another Raid Den and get another Mewtwo. I guess I guess the argument would be well no the dens make sense but the space time rifts are the one and sun and moon makes sense because it's like I'm going through time and I'm catching a Mewtwo and then I'm gonna go through time again then catch another Mewtwo and then come back home and then that that yeah uh, but okay um, I'm going off about a, a, a stupid topic Raikou Raikou also a tier Suicune where's Suicune. Suicune, also A tier. Uh, Lugia, also A tier. Wait, what? Oh. Well, okay, Lugia goes to B tier. Honestly, Lugia goes behind. Lugia goes behind its children. Um, Ho-Oh goes over there. Even though I really, I, you know, okay, fine, switch them. I like Ho-Oh. I like Call O because I like Pokemon Gold more than Pokemon Silver. Because I bought Pokemon Gold and didn't buy Pokemon Silver. Ho O is my favorite Gen 2 legend. Hey, Ho O is great, but at the same time, it's just I it's just bird. It's just bird with Mohawk that shoots fire and can learn earthquake. Meanwhile, Lugia is also just bird with hands. That isn't a water type, but it's a psychic type, and and subverts your exp expectations because you catch it at World Islands, and you're like, oh yeah, so this is a water type, right? No, it just learns Hydro Pump. Wow, only one S. Yeah, I don't like legendary Pokemon. If I'm being completely honest with you, I've I, there, I've never really liked legendary Pokemon that much. Um. Generation 2, uh, Generation 2, Generation 2, Generation 2. There are a few ones that I'm like, oh, they're cool. But, like, they've never really been like, damn. Don't make me act cup. Not. Oh. Oh, my. I was wondering why the music just stopped out of nowhere. My switch decided to just turn off. Great. All right. I hope I didn't want to lose any progress. Let me save the game. All right. 
Game set. Oh, yeah, I, I like to have it in the background music, though. All right. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Let's do them in a random order. We're going to be searching for it so long. Never. Because I don't, I don't want to do Azelf and then have to do Kowalian. Then I don't have to think about the rest of them. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be able to get through this quick. Kyogre is... Uh, Kyogre is A tier, and Kyogre is better than these guys, to be honest. And then uh, Primal Kyogre is better than regular Kyogre because it's glowing. Any Pokemon that glows is cool. Groudon looks stupid. Groudon has always looks stupid. But Primal Groudon looks cool, and he's he goes there for sure. Um, who else from Gen 3? Oh, Latios and Latias. Latias is, is the red one. Dragon, Dragon Legendary Pokemon, Dragon Psychic at that. Mm. Mm. But at the same time, Latios. I don't really like Latios that much. I'm gonna put Latios there. I mean Latios there. I'm gonna put Latios at the top. Latios goes above it. Latios, Latios goes over here. Yes, I like Latios. And then the Megas are F tier because they look literally identical. I cannot even tell which is Latios and which one is Latios. Like, what? I'm zoomed in. Wh who's who, bro? How do you know? These are two different Pokemon. They're mega evolutions of these two. How would you know? Anyways, um... Latios and Latias are great. Yeah, they're great Pokemon. Their Mega Evolutions suck. Their Mega Evolutions are Garbo. Garbo Barbo. <laughs> In my opinion. Uh, Jirachi is uh, better than Celebi, but... Yeah. Definitely there. C tier. I like Jirachi. How would you... E how would you even know? They look identical. Um... Deoxys Defense has a great place in my heart because of Pokemon Go. I've used him on my Pokemon Go team a lot. I really like this Pokemon. He's got noodle arms. He's got noodle arms and he's really tanky. I like the Deoxys Defense. Jirachi is my second favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Why do you like so many legendaries? You like a lot of legendary Pokemon. Uh, what is this? Deoxys Attack? Deoxys Attack is a D tier Pokemon. Deoxys Speed is a D tier Pokemon. Deoxys regular is uh probably C. I just hate these. They 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 serve no purpose to anything ever. I don't know. Maybe they do serve a purpose to competitive, but I haven't seen these Pokemon in a Pokemon game in years. Or are used for any viability. I don't know, they just have good designs. Fair enough. Um who else is where? What? Where? Who? Ha! Uh, Manaphy and Fione. Those are Gen Four Pokemon. Ah, Reggie Ice, or Reg Ice, rather. He's an Ice Cube. He's a D tier Pokemon. Like, if I were to put an Ice Cube any higher, I I feel like you should question my credibility to do this, to be allowed to do this, because he's literally just an Ice Cube with feet. Like, that's a poke. Like, the Pokemon is ice. His type, ice. Pokemon, ice, iceberg. Red Ice can survive being covered in lava, which is kind of cool. It doesn't change the fact that he's literally just ice. Strong ice. Ooh. Reg Ice. Um. Reggie Steel. Reg Steel. Reggie Steel. I like Reggie Steel. Reggie Steel's cool. Ready Steel kind of cool. I can't lie. Ready Steel kind of cool. Ready Steel. I like his metal arms. Reminds me of Jax. I like Ready Steel more than these guys. But I like Ready Steel less than this guy. Man, I really don't like Pol <laughs> Mewtwo. S tier. Everybody else. Trash. <laughs> uh, Red Rock. Oh my god, Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock is even worse than Reggie Ice, in my opinion. 
Reggie Rice actually... Reggie Steel looks like a Final Fantasy boss. Facts. Reggie Ice looks dumb. And Reggie Rock looks dumb too. <laughs> Reggie Steel is the best of the Reggies. Don't at me. Holy... It's Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. The Rock. Reggie the Rock Johnson. <laughs> um... All right, Cresselia. Cresselia next. Cresselia is... Cresselia has got a banana on its head. Look at it. Look at it. Banana head. I like Cresselia more than these dummies. And these dummies. And this dummy. I like uh, Cresselia, though. I don't know. Do I like Cresselia more than Groudon? Yeah. And Articuno? Not really. Banana, let's go! Banana head! Oh, Darkrai is S tier. Don't at me. Don't at me. Darkrai is S tier. Darkrai is one of the coolest edgelord Pokemon out there. Don't care what anyone says. S tier. S tier. The only thing that could make Darkrai better if it was a dark ghost type. If, if Darkrai was a dark ghost type and not just pure dark, it would be... It'd be one of the best Pokemon ever. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, but I, I think if it was Dark Ghost, it'd be kind of broken. I, I, like, its resistances would be insane. Um, and its attack damage would be insane. Dialga is actually... You know, Dialga's actually cool. I like Dialga. Um, yeah, I like Dialga a lot. Honestly, Dialga, Dialga goes here. Honestly, Diago goes here. Yeah. Diago goes A tier. Diago is the god of time. And, bro, I don't know. He's just cool. I like Diago. Where's Palkia? Where's Palk? Palkia! Yeah! Water, water dragon. Splish splash that was taking a bat. But -na -na -na. Palkia's pink. And I, like, I don't know. He looks cool, but at the same time, like, when I was a kid, and Gen 4 just came out. Palkia was so much cooler to me than Dialga. I was like, Dialga looks stupid. It's just, it's just got four legs and he's just a dinosaur. Dumb. But Palkia is so cool. And now I'm older, I'm just like, man, Palkia is kind of weird. Cool state of matter thing, but water is a weird type. Yeah, water is a weird type. But, um, Palkia, I'm going to put Palkia in B tier. But I still like him. At the same time, mid. Mid AF. Oh, Giratina. Pokemon Devil? Both forms. Actually, no. Origin form, S tier. Altered form, A tier. Giratina? I'm just... He's such a good Pokemon. He's so cool. Also, Ghost Legendary Pokemon? Lit. Can you see what kind of legendaries I like? Giratina S tier. Is, is that even a question, my boy? Exactly. Giratina's sick, bro. Giratina a gangster. Um... Um... Uh, Genesect, Genesect is very forgettable, but he's not that bad of a Pokemon, so I can't put him in F tier. But at the same time, he's definitely he's definitely super forgettable. Like, Genesect is a Pokemon that has the same typing as. Genesect looks cool, but he has the worst Pokemon movie. Exactly. Genesect looks cool. But at the same time, he, he barely even looks like he fits into the Pokemon world. Like, I'm going to put him in E tier. I don't like Genesect that much. Uh, what next? Who else? Who else is in Generation 4? I just played Generation 4. Manaphy. Manaphy is boring. 
Manaphy goes at the bottom of C tier with all these other fairy Pokemon. Um, Fiona is not even a legendary Pokemon, so you can go in F tier. Fiona is not real. Fiona is is like Manaphy's children or whatever. Fiona greater than Manaphy TBH, bro. If if Fiona was actually a real legendary Pokemon, sure, but I don't. I just don't get it. I don't under both of them. I don't understand. Yeah, I'll move Fiona up to E, but at the same time, they're just they're just so whatever. Like I just don't understand them. Same thing with Meltan. Yeah, Meltan is another one. Meltan's another fairy Pokemon. I'm just like, yo, you're barely even a legendary. Like you're not even real. Mel Metal is cool. I like Mel Metal. Don't get it twisted. Mel Metal's sick. Mel Metal is really cool, but do you need to have Meltan? Do you need to have a Pokemon that evolves into a legendary? No. Or a legend that evolves into another? Like, no. Unnecessary. Also, Meltan, you're not supposed to be up there yet. I, I got onto you too quick. Oh, I forgot to put Rayquaza! Ah, oh, hell, I forgot Rayquaza. Rayquaza's S tier. And so is Mega Rayquaza. Actually... Primal Rayquaza is not S tier. Primal Rayquaza is down here. Well, Primal Rayquaza goes right here. Uh, well, he's better than Dialga. I used to think Metagross was a legendary when I was when I was little. That's a fair assumption. That's a fair assumption. I mean, as you grew when you grew when you got older, you probably found out that it was a pseudo legendary. So it's almost a legendary. Beldum into Met Metang into Metagross. Metagross is a sick Pokemon. I, I really like Metagross. Agreed. With Rayquaza being S tier? Yeah, Rayquaza is S tier. Rayquaza is definitely S tier. These Pokemon are cooler than Rayquaza, but Rayquaza is sick. Especially Shiny Rayquaza. Shiny Rayquaza gangster. Um. Um, diddy dum dum dee dee dum dee dee dum. Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas is dumb. Compared to the other Reggies, Reggie Gigas is stupid. I get it. You need the other three Reggies to make Reggie Gigas, but Reggie Gigas is just. Uh, and then it's got the ability slow start. Oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> Reggie, Reggie Filia me. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, Azelf. Cause I'm in Gen Four now. Azelf is my favorite of the Lake Trio. It's better than Jirachi. Um, Mesprit has dreadlocks. And has predator hair, and I hate him. Or or it. Mesprit looks dumb, in my opinion. Not as dumb as Moltres, not as dumb as Deoxys, but dumb. Um. Oh, Shaman. So regular Shaman form is really cute, and I like it, and it's better than Azelf. Um. And then Sky Shaman form is stupid looking, and I hate it. It goes in it goes in E tier, whatever E E E. Yeah, I don't like this Pokemon. Sky form Shaman is sick. I love how our 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 um our takes are so different, Sylveon. I really like that. I like that. I'm just like I don't like this, and you're just like I really like this. And I say that like I'm not even trying to cater to um. What's going on? That uh, it's oh great. Your favorite's Yuxi. Yuxi is definitely better than Mesprit. That's for sure. Where did where did Yuxi go? Yuxi's cool because Yuxi's sleeping all the time. Yuxi can go next to Jirachi. Um, ow. I like differing opinions. They're fun, right? 
Uh, Heat Ran. Oh my god. Heat Ran is one of the most irrelevant legendary Pokemons that everyone forgets about. Heat Ran is so irrelevant. Heat Ran is. Oh my god. Heat Ran is. Uh, I, I kind of feel like Heat Ran is just like down here. Heat Ran's down there. Heat Ran's better than. Uh, Sky Shaman's better than Genesect. Um. Yeah, that's good so far. I like that. Oh my god. Heat Ran should have been an evolution to that one anteater. Yes! Heat Ran should have been an evolution to Heat More. Oh my god, Sylveon. That is so smart. That makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. Ugh. I've never thought about that. It's like he was supposed to be. It's like they made Heat More after and they're just like. Man, we missed out. We could have had a Fire Steel type regular Pokemon. Shoot. Victini, the victory Pokemon, is actually my favorite of the Pixie Pokemon. This is gonna go in B tier. Fire Psychic? That's a cool typing, man. I like that, man. Um. Therian form Landorus is cool. Therian form Landorus is like a is like a panther. We're gonna put him in A tier. I'll fix my A tier later. Regular uh, genie form Landorus, incarnate form, also A tier. Wait, that's Therian, that's incarnate. These are two A tier Pokemon. I love them. They're cool. Cool genie Pokemon. Um. Victini had a banger movie, not gonna lie. I never seen the Victini movie. Uh, who else was in Gen... F Wait, am I in this is Gen 5 that I'm doing now, right? I don't even know. I honestly... I'm just doing them. I'm just throwing Pokemon in now. I don't care. Uh, oh, dodge. Oh, Terrakion? Honestly? B tier. Terrakion's a cool Pokemon and all. Rock fighting. But at the same time, he's just kind of stupid looking. Good typing, fun little Pokemon. Looks ugly. Verizion, on the other hand, looks sick. I really like Verizion. Like design-wise, Verizion looks really cool. And then Cobalion is, uh, Cobalion's not even B. Cobalion's like D tier. I hate Cobalion. Celebi's movie had time travel. He was a bitch to catch in um, Omega Ruby. I'm sorry, he ran constantly. Who, um. Verizion, Cobalion, Terrakion, or Victini? I just did those, so. So you're talking about one of them. Or are you talking about the uh, Tornadus and Thunderous and on all them? Because they're cool Pokemon that run around East, East, too, and I hate that. I hate, I hate that. Um. Where are the other, where, where are the other, um, Storm, okay, uh, Thunderous, Thunderous is not as cool as Tornade, uh, Landorus, so we're gonna put him in B tier, but, I do like Theory and Lander, uh, Thunderous, Theory and Landorus is cool, even though his legs are tiny, he's got tiny little, tiny little feet, little feet, where's Tornadus, where's that Tornado, uh, uh, Therian Tornadus is, or Incarnate Th Tornadus is stupid. Can you, can you understand that I, I'm not a big fan of green flying Pokemon that just, that are just birds? Even if they are legendary, I like Genie though. Genie, Genies are cool. Genies go in A tier. Man, I really like a lot of legendaries and only hate two. That's crazy. He ran constantly. Terrakion, ah. Yeah, I hate roaming Pokemon. They're stupid. Just let me catch the Pokemon and have fun. Reshiram is um, an A-tier Pokemon because it's majestic looking and looks cool and its tail lights up. But also it's kind of boring looking to look at. So maybe it's B- Nah, it's A-tier. It's just low A-tier. I gotta fix my A-tier. Uh, Kiram is ugly. That's probably a bad take because a lot of people really, 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 really love Kiram. But, no. Just no. 
Keldeo is is um, F tier, and so is both Keldeos. Sort of Justice Keldeo and regular Keldeo are both F tier because who needs who needed the fourth Sword of Justice member when they are actually supposed to be the three Musketeers? Kiram is kind of cool, but he's better when he absorbs either dragon. Exactly, Kiram is like mid until he becomes Kiram Black or Kiram White. Like Kiram Black is definitely A tier. And Kiram White is also definitely A tier. But Kiram is C tier on its own. Meloetta is dumb. Meloetta is dumb but kind of cool looking. So Meloetta can go down here next to Jirachi, I guess. I don't know. Celebi. I don't, I, I don't even. I can't even remember this one. Uh, this Meloetta goes next to this Meloetta because I prefer green-haired Meloetta over uh, fighting normal-type Meloetta, even though I think fighting normal-type Meloetta is better. Um, who else is in Generation 5? Generation 5, Zeklom. Zeklom is pretty cool. Zeklom is cooler than Reshiram, so he goes in A rank, A tier. Mm. Meloetta is cute, but doesn't really have any cool gimmick like wish granting. Exactly, Meloetta is cute, but like, what what is there? What what does it have going for it? Dancing, trying to be an idol. It's Pokemon Meloetta. Chill out. Um. Generation five. Generation five. Generation five. I think that's everybody, right? All right, Gen Six, the 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 time where there was so many. Oh wait, Zygarde. Wait, no, that's Gen Six. Nonetheless, Zygarde. Zygarde is a is a dumb slug, but at the same time, I like him. He goes into B tier. I like Zygarde. Zy Dog, though, no. But, oh, 100% Zygarde is S-tier. 100% Zygarde is S-tier simply because this man looks like Optimus Prime. They put Optimus Prime into Pokemon. And somehow he does, he, he, he fits. <laughs> 100% Zygarde is effing recovery. Yeah, 100% Zygarde is dope. Actually a dope looking Pokemon. Um, Xerneas, 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 Xerneas is, I like Xerneas more than Arceus, because like, even though they're the, both the kind of same animal, for real, was super badass in anime too, Optimus Prime, bro, he's literally... Xerneas is pretty. Xerneas is cool. Xerneas has a little bit... You know what? Xerneas goes in the B tier because it's got more going on than Arceus. And they're kind of the same animal. And Xerneas is just nice to look at. Evaltil. Evaltal. Um, Evaltal. Man. Evaltal is really... It's weird to say that name out loud. But Evaltal is A, a tier. Evaltal looks cool. Dark flying. And, and he doesn't look like just bird. Because, like, that's Pokemon X, that's Pokemon Y, and when he spreads out his wings, he looks like a Y, and... Oh. Looks cool. Definitely menacing. Um... We got Deancey. Deancey, Deancey, Deancey. Deancey is better than Jirachi. Honestly, Deancey's pretty cool. Deancey is gonna go, like, here. Not, not with the big boys, but def definitely high C tier. And then Mega Deoncey is better than Arceus, but worse than Xerneas in my ah better than Xerneas. And Zygarde and Terrakion and Victini and Palkia. There. I think that's about good. Mega Deoncey, yeah. My girl Deoncey, I love her army of Carbink and her movie and her design. I always found it funny how they were just like, yes, we're going to make Deoncey a fairy rock type. And we're also going to make Carbink a fairy rock type. And those are going to be Deoncey's, Deoncey, Deoncey, 
Deontay's uh, D army. It's gonna be the the D hive. Do you get it? Because I keep calling Deontay Deontay. Anyways, um, it's not that funny. It's kind of it's kind of a dumb joke. Um, God, now we're getting into like legendaries that I don't even know that that well. Um, shoot. I love that Deontay has an army at all. It's just such a cool thing for a Pokemon, right? It's really, it's it's cool and random. Uh, Volcanion is cool because he's water fire, and I like that. Weird typing. Weird flex, but it's cool. Cosmog is F tier, and so is Cosmo M. But Cosmog is high F tier because because Nebby is cute. Volcanion had a mid movie. Did it really? I never seen it. I just like its typing and its design. I, I like Volcanion. But Cosmo goes at, uh, top F tier because cute and Nebby and Cosmoem is just dumb. Stupid Pokemon. What is this thing? Is the Eye of Sauron or some garbage? Um, Lunala. Lunala's a bat. And kind of reminds me of Xerneas, so Lunala goes up. Cosmog is good for Lily's character, at least. Exactly. Cosmog is good for Lily's character and um, as Nebby. It, it, it's cute. Like I, like, I have no issues with it. But as a Pokemon, Cosmog is just stupid. Like, I, I'd, be, I'd be so... I'd be so sad if my parents gave me a Cosmog and told me to level it up and take care of it. And then it became a Cosmoem. I'd be so... I'd be so upset. But eventually it becomes a legendary Pokemon, so I'd be like, how the hell did you guys get this? Um, Lunala is, uh, yeah, reminds me of Xerneas. Really cool to look at, really, it was a cool design. But other than that, kind of boring. I don't even remember what its typing is, to be honest. Where's Solgaleo? Solgaleo, up here, there you are. Solgaleo is a lion, so therefore he is A tier. Any objections? I don't think so. Lions, lions are cool. Um, King of the Jungle and all that, all that jazz. Um, uh, Meltan. Meltan is F tier. Stupid Meltan. No, Metal on the other sand though is A tier because he's cool. I like Mel Metal. What is this? What is this robot? I don't like it. It's going... Oh, it's a Pokeball. Oh, it's a... Uh, oh, what is that? It's M. Its name starts with an M, right? God, what is this Pokemon? It's able to become a Pokeball? It's not Deontay. De Deontay. Deontay. De 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 Magearna. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beta Deontay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magearna is stupid. I hate Magearna. Magearna is dumb. Honestly, F tier. Dumb Pokemon. Hoopa Unbound? S tier, hands down. And Hoopa is A tier. My first A tier fairy Pokemon because I, 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 I like I like Hoopa. Um, Marshadow? What's the difference between these two Marshadows? Doesn't really matter to me. I don't know anything about Marshadow, but I like Marshadow a lot. Marshadow looks cool. Ghost Fighting, right? Or, or something? I don't know. Marshadow looks cool. Also had a mid movie. Hoopa Woo had like a 5.5 out of 10 movie. <laughs> yeah, but Hoopa's sick though. Hoopa Unbound is such a. Hoopa Unbound looks like a Dragon Ball Z character. Um. What is this? Lunala with Necrozma armor? Sure. Solgaleo with Necrozma armor. Um, I I don't. This list is getting crazy full. Oh my god. Uh, Ultra Necrozma. Ultra Necrozma is is a cool looking Pokemon, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, I don't I don't really know anything about Ultra Necrozma. I didn't play that much of uh, Sun and Moon. 
Regular Necrozma, though, is pretty cool. Necrozma goes up into 8th uh, S tier, because Necrozma is sick. Uh, type Null. Type Null, it shouldn't even count. And Silvali shouldn't even count. These, these are fake clone versions of Arceus. They are fake, fake gods. Marshadow had a shit movie. Base Necrozma is cooler. Bro just eats light. What a chad. Necrozma is just out here. So this is Tapu... Tapu... Late, I, I don't... This is Tapu Fini, right? Tapu Fini is... Um, you know, honestly, the Tapus are all D tier. I hate the Tapus. They're not cool to me. Tapu Koku is, um, is C tier, though. Tapu Koku is C tier. But all the other Tapus are D tier. I'm just not a fan of them. Zeraora is F tier automatically because he's overpowered in Pokemon Unite. Why would they let you play a, a legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Unite? What what were they thinking? And then there is like, oh, he'll be fine. Stupid. No, nah, okay, Zeraora is actually kind of cool. Zeraora can go B tier, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Zacian, dog with sword. C tier. Right now, oh, wait. Oh, it's like full powerization. Yeah, you guys, I don't like, I don't like, I never liked full powerization. I never liked full power Salmon but I do like the weaker versions. I like them more than the full power versions, funny enough. I always thought this was just like a weird, it looks so strange. I'm back. Sorry, this keeps happening. Has it just been Sylveon Emeralds? This type of lately is adorable. I'm here to little teacup, my beloved. Hey there. And then just lurkers. Yep. People just want to hear hear my opinion on Pokemon. I guess. My le legendary Pokemon tier list. Um. Um. Oh. Eternatus. Eternatus at the end of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Or, yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Big ol' hand from the sky. Giant Pokemon. F tier. Regular Eternatus. Uh, e tier. Um, oh my god, don't even get me started about this idiot. Cubfu. Cubfu's cute. Cubfu's D tier. These are Pokemon I have not even seen ever before because I have not bought the DLC for this game. Um, Urshifu and Urshifu. F because I don't know you. I don't know you. Um, Monkey. Dark Grass Monkey. I mean, I guess it's a it's a B tier because it's a monkey. I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, uh, Galarian Articuno. Galarian Articuno is about as cool as regular Articuno. Uh, Galarian Zapdos is freaking sick. So he's gonna go in A tier because I like how Galarian Zapdos. Galarian Moltres is S tier. Galarian Moltres is S tier. Because they took a stupid C tier where uh, C tier Pokemon, stupid Moltres, dumbass Fire Chicken, and made it into cool ass Dark Fire Chicken. Love that. Uh, Reggie Draco F tier, Reggie Lecky F tier, Reggies that are added late into the game F tier. Um, G Max Strike Style Urshifu. I don't. What the uh, G Max Meltan? Get out of here. Um, okay, Frost Frost Horse, Frost Horse that I haven't seen because I didn't play Crown Chundra. Uh, it's a horse with, made of ice. That's kind of it's like pony. It's like Rapidash. That's kind of cool. We'll put you there. Spectre Ghost Horse Ghost Horse. Facts. And then we got this one where the Calyrex is riding on them. Nah. Hate that. All right. Oh, that was tiring. Yo, I hate legendary Pokemon. I think I, I think I, I think I don't like legendary Pokemon. That's wild. This list made me realize I'm, I don't know if I'm a big fan of legendary Pokemon. But let me work, let me, let me work my way through this. Mewtwo as, as best legendary Pokemon. Yes. I disagree with some points, but you have some good takes. Yeah. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fix up. I'm gonna see what I like. Uh, so Mewtwo, definitely. Darkrai. I prefer Giratina over Darkrai, but I, I, yeah, I prefer Rayquaza over Darkrai. Um, Necrozma. Yeah, I actually like this. This is good. And then Spectir. Spectrier. I don't, I don't even know what to call it, but Ghost Horse. Ghost Horse is cool. Don't know too much about him, but I'm gonna keep him down there. Uh, Altered Giratina. I just don't like how he looks kind of phallic. I never liked how he looked kind of like a pee pee with six legs. Always weirded me out. Mega Mewtwo, why is sick? Uh, honestly, Primal Requaz is cooler than, than these two. Honestly, Diago's cooler than... No. Diago's cooler than Mewtwo, why? Or is that Mewtwo X? I can never remember. Cooler than Mewtwo, cooler than Mewtwo... Not cooler than Mewtwo. Cooler than Latios. Or Latios. Cooler. 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 Ah, the genies. I gotta fix these guys. Actually, there's not really much for me to fix here. They're, they're in exactly where they need to be. What is this? Zekrom? Honestly, Zekrom is so edgy. I'm going to keep Zekrom where Zekrom is. And Reshiram is a little bit better than Zekrom because it's less edgy and still cool. Um, Kirin Black... I don't know. These two Pokemon, Kieran Black and Kieran White, just seem so edgy that to put them higher, I, I don't know. That I don't know. They're cool Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, but we did it, gang. Legendaries ranked. That's right. We made it through every single legendary from all Pokemon generations. I don't know how I did that. I'm tired. That that I am emotionally drained. Um, I like Yvalto better than these guys, to be honest. Volcanion is kind of mid, so he's gonna go at the bottom, but his typing is sick. Valerian thingy Zapdos is cooler than this. And the Meltan Mel Metal is not cooler than Sol Galeo. Sol Galeo is actually sick. Sol Galeo might actually go to S tier. I like Sol Galeo a lot. He's a lion. He's better than Spectrier. Hoopa's a little prankster shit. Marshadow's a little prank. These guys are little prankster shits. They're cool. They're, they stay where they are. Um, Ultra, Ultra, Soul Galeo. I don't even know what the hell these Pokemon are. Like, what? Honestly, honestly, you guys are going to F tier because I don't know you. I just don't know you. I don't know what that, like, what's the difference? What is the difference? You got, you got Necrozma on your body. Like, shut up. Be your own man or Pokemon whatever um top of b tier no yeah i like this let's just fix this up a little bit Honestly, nah, I'm good. I'll stick around though until I feel myself um, until I feel myself falling asleep. Okay, Deontay is Deontay is better than than Latias. It is. Mega Deontay is Deontay is better than Latias, hundred percent. That's why I had to move it. Latias is okay, but like, it's whatever. I don't know these two, so I can't move them. Honestly, Zeroar should be down here too. I don't know Zeroar that well. And Ultra, Ultra Necrozma. If I knew Ultra Necrozma better, like if I played through Sun and Moon, like Ultra Sun and Moon, I'd have to raise them up. But I'll be going out with Gemma on Saturday and probably doing something for my dad's birthday on Sunday. So maybe I'd be a bit late for one of, if not both, Jay's streams. But I'll be there. All right, Austin. I'll let Junior know if he didn't read that already.
Mega Deonce is better than most of A tier, to be honest. I would strongly disagree with the word term most. Some of A tier, I'd agree with you on, but not all of A tier. But yeah, you know what? I, I think I'm fine with this list. A lot of, lot of, lot of weird, weird Pokemon at the bottom. All right, all right. Tier list done. I'm not, I'm done. We're not doing a tier list. Tier list over. I'm gonna keep playing Pokemon now. <laughs> wow, what a detour. I have to go now. All right. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around for the tier list, Sylvia. I appreciate sharing your opinions with me uh, and um, on that. That was that was fun to do. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Have a good night as well. Bro, that was the biggest stun log at Bro, you don't even understand. You don't even understand, bro. Change the stream topic. Shut up! Refresh the page!